Now, the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Sports Desk with Johnny Conga. Now we are inching closer and closer to the 2023 NFL Draft. And after the Carolina Panthers all but mortgage the future to move up to number one, well, we all know they're going to take a quarterback, but we don't know which quarterback that will be. Now, the consensus coming out of the combine is that it would be Ohio State signal caller C.J. Stroud going one overall. But in the past few days, well, all that momentum has shifted towards Alabama quarterback Bryce Young. Sure, his size remains the biggest holdup with NFL general managers. Young was measured at just 5'10", 204 pounds, but it's the intangibles that teams like Carolina are salivating over. That winning quotient that Young possesses. And ESPN draft guru Mel Kuyper thinks that the Panthers have everything in place to take a quarterback like Young. They have everybody around the quarterback in Carolina to make him successful, and Bryce Young certainly. Uh, seems like he's going to be the number one pick overall. I think that's the, the consensus you get right now. So if you can reconcile the size, because he's the ultimate outlier. Don't make any mistake about it. He's the smallest quarterback in the history of the common draft to go in the first round, let alone number one overall. So this is new and something we've never had happen before. And speaking of quarterbacks, well, down at Auburn, there is once again a competition on the Plains for the starting job. And just like last year, well, both Robbie Ashford and TJ Finley are looking to win favor with their new head coach. And Finley, well, he told reporters that he's a totally different person this time around, both on and off the field. And no doubt, he wants to be QB1. Knowing who you are inside, it, it allows you to be yourself in all aspects of life, uh, whether you're on the field, off the field, in the locker room, with guys at dinner and things of, like, uh, things of that nature. Um, it, it's just you're able to be yourself and you're able to, to show your true colors to everybody and everybody knows who you are. Let's head to the Diamond now where tonight marks the return of baseball in the Magic City. The Birmingham Barons are back tonight to kick off a homestand with the rival Rocket City Trash Pandas. And as the Barons make their way home to Regents Field, well, there's been a good vibe around the clubhouse to begin the season. The roster is certainly not lacking for talent. And according to first-year Birmingham manager Lorenzo Bundy, well, it starts with attitude. And earlier this week, well, the first-year skipper talked to reporters about the sometimes difficult balancing act between developing players in the system and consistently winning ballgames. You can't control the development of your players and putting them in the best position to have success. And that's my job. And, uh, and we'll do that. And do I want to win? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. And uh, do I want to put on a, a good product on the field for our fans here in Birmingham? Yes, I do. And, uh, but uh, what I can promise is my guys will compete every night. And Bundy told us earlier in the week that this is his 42nd season in baseball, worked for eight different clubs, played and coached in two different countries. It's going to be fun following him and his club all summer long. Pretty impressive. But you know what else you need for baseball? What's that? Good weather. You need good weather. We got good weather. Let's go live to Regents Field. You know, Quinn Light.